Hey guys, okay, so I have got a concealer for you today. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. I have it in the shade Magic Concealer 20. Hmm. Can you give me the shade? Oh, yeah, it just says 20. There was a name for this online. It, I didn't go by number, I went by name. It's not telling me what it is. It's the name of some town, city, or country, or some, something like that. I can't remember. I, I don't remember what it is. Okay. Okay, so it says Conceal and Perfect, our Magic Creamy Radiant Concealer smoothens, smoothens? Smoothens and cancels out dark circles, blemishes, and skin imperfections. Well, that's exactly what we're looking for. All right, so I have a little bit of foundation on this side of my face, and I'm sorry if I can't do both eyes. I just, my schedule is crazy, and I have to do as many videos as I can in one sitting. So I apologize for that. Um, if I ever get to the place where I can just <clears throat> not have to do that, then we'll do both eyes if that's what you guys like to see. So, all right, here we go. Um, okay, so this is, oh, I think this is going to be too light. Well, I'll try it anyway, but they had so many shades. Um... I'm sure I would be able to find one that would work for me. So um, that was my my mistake to get this shade. But I was ordering it online. So if you're in store, I know you'll find your shade. You just It's impossible to not be able to find your shade. Because they have a million shades. Okay. And so here we are using my favorite concealer brush. This is the... Oh, oh, I was going to say, I know it was written on there. Flower Beauty Angled concealer brush now annoyingly in my Walmart it looks like they're clearancing out the flower beauty stuff um, so I don't know where you'll be able to find this which is I don't understand like sometimes when they clearance out makeup because I hear people talking about their makeup I hear people talking about the concealer and the foundation for flower beauty light illusion and people like it and they want it. So I don't know why they might be getting rid of it. So I don't know. Maybe it's by store. Like if, if the store itself isn't selling it, they won't keep it out. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, now while that was not my favorite shade, simply because it was a little bit too light. I don't like the, um, concealers to be too light because I want to color correct and conceal at the same time. So I probably, if I really love this concealer, I would go down and get the next shade darker, at least maybe two shade darker, depending on the undertone. So, but as of right now, it is looking really nice from my face to the mirror. Um, it is glowy. They say it's glowy. It is. Does it say glowy or radiant? Radiant, creamy radiant. So that is really good, um, especially if you're someone my age, because you don't want it to be too crusty. You kind of want it in between. You don't want it too radiant or too crusty dry, because then it will just look bad on your skin. So let's get up close, you guys. Okay. All right, so I do have some creases because I have creases and I have wrinkles under my eyes. This is a real big one. It's always giving me trouble. Um, I don't mind too much because my eye, like, the only time you're going to be able to see the found, the uh, the product really um, bunching up in there is if I were to pull my eye down like this. Like if I'm just talking, no one's going to know that that's happening. Now you will see the line though, but that is unavoidable. I always have that. and can't get away from that. Other than that, it's looking pretty decent. I feel like it's not, doesn't have like the most amazing best coverage I've ever seen. It is transferring a little bit onto my finger. Um, Let's see if it's buildable. It just says cancels out dark circles, blemishes, and skin imperfections. Um, and that's all it says. It doesn't say anything about it being buildable. So I, I assume that they are wanting you to just be able to, with one application, be completely concealed. Um, this is looking so nice, though. Um, just as a first impression, I'm going to put a tiny bit more and just see if we can get a little bit more right there in my darkest area. This is looking really nice, like so nice that I would say that if you can get just the right shade, it could work for a no makeup day for me so far. Um, it's looking pretty natural on, on my skin. The problem is, is that I have so much to conceal that I have to wear a thick or heavily concealing product and you're just going to be able to see it on your skin no matter what you do, most likely. Now, if the product ever comes out that that's not the case, then I will have to have my hat off to you. But at this point in time, there just really isn't. So, whoops. 
Okay, I think that built up well, and it, I think it looks nice on my skin. I'm just going to have to say that right up front. I think it looks nice. So what I'm also going to do is just to see. Now, you get 0.34 fluid ounces. I don't have the price. I want to say it was in the 15 to 18 dollar range i can't remember i'm sorry i'll try and get that in the description i'll really try to do that um what was i gonna say so that's a lot of product um an average concealer is about 0.2 this has 0.34 and it's got a big tube but it's kind of deceiving because like all this is just extra plastic so it looks bigger than what you actually get you get a little bit more 0.14 more fluid ounces than you would in a standard concealer if this is amazing, I think it's worth the price. Um, however, there are other less expensive concealers out there and I've got an entire playlist. So if you guys are wondering about concealers, you can take a look at that. But uh, before we go, let's go ahead and try it around my nose. Now I am wearing this foundation for the rest of the day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of, well, I guess we're getting a both eyes concealed video out of this. So nice after all, I'm just gonna see how this works around my nose redness so face concealing okay one thing I will say you just need the tiniest bit oh that's it I was just gonna say this was reminding me of something and it is really reminding me of all those new concealers that came out. <clears throat> excuse me those new concealers that came out early this year like January of this year it's so almost the same time this year last year um, the CoverGirl True Blend, the L'Oreal, um, Infallible, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This is very similar to those, or those are very similar to this one. I don't know which one came out first. So, um, the only difference that I can say right now is the L'Oreal one was more matte. This is much more radiant, and I don't know if you can see, it's really hard with all the washout. Um, from the sun and everything that this is yeah it's much more light reflective I don't know if you can see that like I can see it in my viewfinder very much more light reflective so um, I'm gonna stop rambling on and on and on um, I will wear this for the rest of the day update my thoughts in the description I'll try to get the price in there everything that you guys are would want to know leave me some comments leave me questions leave me um, um, what am I trying to say videos that you'd like to see recommendations videos that you'd like to see um, anything that you guys would like to talk about, um, leave me that down below. As a first impression for this concealer, I think it looks nice and I'm kind of liking it. Um, especially out here in the sun. It might be a little bit different um, indoor light, but we'll, I'll just go through that when I get to that. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!